So here I am, round two with my Capo JK Max Jeep. Look at this, the second time I've been on the backyard scale park with this behemoth. A lot of people I've read in the comments actually mistake this as the first Jeep uh, scale kit that Capo came out with. Uh, it was well into the thousands of dollars and actually the introductory price of this one when I got it was about $14.50 USD. Uh, an all metal chassis. Uh, all metal on the inside as well, you can see the scale engine on the inside. I did do a complete build series on this, plus we took it down to uh, the desert in the uh, USA. Uh, gave it a run on the cliffs there, that was tons of fun. A lot of people say, where the heck is that back fender? It doesn't look right without it. Uh, but a lot of off-road Jeeps actually don't run that rear fender. I'm actually running 2.2 sized RC four-wheel drive rock crusher uh, tires. Very beefy, very meaty. If you haven't seen this vehicle before, check out this, uh, uh, well it's rather a fake hydraulic steering setup, but instead what it is, is a cable driven steering setup. No servo that you can see. It's actually tucked up underneath the driver's seat back there. The aftermarket Angry Birds uh, grill. A lot of folks also haven't seen these in full size, but yes, they certainly do exist. And of course, mini me on the inside going to be giving it a rip. So no more talking. Let's get going on the course. I did install an aftermarket Sense Innovations uh, S dual sound kit. Got it in low gear. Going to give her a run down the ramp through the first gate. If you haven't been to my backyard scale park here on the uh, RC Adventure Show, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. This is the Shock Towers. For a 13 pound truck, 13.5, uh, this thing handles and maneuvers much like a full size vehicle. Very wide axles on this vehicle, makes it great for cornering um, but very difficult when you need to get on small rails like this seesaw. Counterweight with the, with the chain. Oh, and we had a stall out, but we were able to pull it off. Excellent. Huge side hill climb. Just magnificent. Ooh. Oh, down I go. And I broke my course, darn it. Easy. Yeah, nice and smooth. A little bit of tire flex, not too much. Got some good power in there for a heavy vehicle. Good weight, I should say. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Just a little road rash, nothing too severe. That's what cages are for. It can be painted. Yeah. A 
looking for some bite on that back tire. It's just digging a hole though. The straight approach is where it was at. into the soup. It's awfully close to the gate. Getting a nice wash there, undercarriage. Oh, darn all that effort. Get it up and over the bridge here, get a nice shot over the water and the mud. Oh nice, got a little wheel slippage going on. But these tires have some great hookup too. What a great afternoon. Just to get outside and enjoy uh, the backyard scale park. You know, it doesn't have to be as big and as elaborate as this one. You just start off with a few sticks, a few logs, a few rocks, you know, shove them all into a pile. That's exactly what happened here. Sticks and logs, dug a hole, a little bit of a trench, and uh, pretty soon I found I had a place to crawl I could call my own. Uh, there you go. I hope to hear from you in the comments section below. What do you think of this all-metal rig? How do you think uh, of how it moves, you know, for $1,450, 1500 bucks as a kit? Do you think this is totally worth it? Uh, 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 is this a swing and a, and a home run for Capo, or is it a miss? Let me know, guys. We'll talk to you in the, in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have some fun with RC. You know I always do. Bye-bye. Here we go.